So here's a question for 2018. This is a state space control question. So we're given a dynamical system representing behaviour of a mass spring damper. Uh, it tells us we've got unity mass, viscosity and spring constant um, of certain values. But we've been given the state space model so we don't have to worry about the details, we just have to use the model. It wants us to analyse the system and show it's controllable and observable. It then wants us to um, derive the update equation when we have full state feedback control and it gives us a, a hint that the k vector is, is composed of two components k1 and k2. Then it asks us to write down the characteristic equation of a system that has the eigenvalues of minus 2 minus 3 and finally we want to work out what the gain k is such that the system that we end up with that's controlled has those um, eigenvalues. So let's start at the beginning. We've got the state uh, system. We can pull out, pull out our A matrix from, from, from the top here. It's, it, don't forget it's going to be AX plus BU um, CX. So the A matrix is 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1. B is 0, 1, and C is 1, 0. We're going to, be ne we're going to need A, B, and C in order to calculate controllability and observability. So... First of all, we'll start off with controllability, and because it's a 2 by 2 A matrix, we only need two terms in the controllability matrix. We need B and we need AB. So we can calculate a, um, AB. We've already got B, but we have to calculate AB, so it's going to be just a simple matrix multiplication. So it's going to be uh, naught, well, rows by columns, so um, 1 there, 1, yeah, minus 1 times zero minus one there so one minus one basically and then what we do is we concatenate um, horizontally in order to build up um, this control uh, matrix so we, we have the the B going in and we concatenate horizontally the the a B component now what we want to do is well we can actually look at that and we say it's already got triangular form it's it's not got triangular form with um, the lower um, value here being zero it's got one with the upper it's upper triangular form so we could already say yes we can see that this system um, is going to be full rank so therefore the system has got um, a controllable uh, property now let's look at the observability of the matrix uh, of, of the system by calculating the um, observability matrix and again because it's a 2 by 2 a matrix we've only got two terms in the observability matrix this time they're concatenated in a vertical sense so we've got c and ca we know what c is but we need to calculate ca again it's rows by columns so it's going to be uh, one lot of zero one lot of one so zero one so mo is going to be one zero Zero, 1 and again we can just look at that and we see yeah well, that's that's definitely got triangular form again in fact that's got um, echelon form that we actually want anyway um, and so immediately we can say there are no rows in there that are zero and therefore it's full rank and therefore the system is observable okay from the state space system then um, if we apply state feedback control to 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 this um, with the state space system with gain equals k1 k2 how does this change the state space equations well this is quite simple um, basically what we do is we just say u equals minus kx right so we just have to plug that into the equation and it simplifies it um, well then we simplify it by um, taking out the factor x so the modified relationship for the update equation is x dot equals a minus bk times x and clearly now the stability of the system is going to be determined by the eigenvalues of a minus bk as opposed to in the uncontrolled system where they're only determined by the eigenvalues of a <clears throat> we're required to find a system with eigenvalues at minus 2 and minus 3 so we have to write down next the characteristic equation um, for a system with those eigenvalues. So if you remember that the characteristic equation is the equation for lambda, um, which gives the value of zero when we hit the actual eigenvalues. 
So what we'd have in this case, was we'd have an equation that's the product of two terms, um, lambda plus two, lambda minus, uh, sorry, lambda plus two, lambda plus three. So when lambda is, is minus two, the first term goes to zero, and when lambda is minus three, the second term goes to zero. So this will therefore be um, the characteristic equation of a system um, which has the solutions minus two and minus three. So what we do is then multiply that out, we end up with lambda squared, five lots of lambdas, and six. And what we'll do in a second is compare that with what, um, what we end up with when we do um, the analysis of the system with a gain. And then we're going to have to match the gain values such that we end up with the same characteristic equation. So if you've got a closed loop system then um, with gain k, full state, uh, full state feedback control, um, the eigenvalues of this closed loop system are given by the solution to the equation what is the determinant of a minus bk minus lambda i. So what we've got to do is we've got to plug in all our values in there. Um, so the only thing we haven't got at the moment, we've got the a, we know what lambda i is, we just write it as lambda, and we've got a term bk. So we need to calculate bk and I'll say it again, I always say this, but if you want to know what the size of the result of BK is, look at the size of A, right? So A is a 2 by 2, so BK has got to also be 2 by 2, and it makes sense because B is a, a 2 by 1, and um, the K is a 1 by 2. So we've got to multiply these, the B and the K, and we end up with a 2 by 2 matrix, just so you can just remember. And we do that because it's this element times this element for this top one, this times this up here, so 0, 0, 1 lot of k1, 1 lot of k2 down here. Okay. Then what we do is we just bung in all the values we've got. I'm just writing the term now just as the parallel, uh, well, as these vertical lines. Um, it's probably better to write debt. It's, it's less ambiguous. But the first thing we do now is we just go through and write this all as a single matrix because we've got to be able to evaluate it, um, calculate its determinant. So it's going to be this, take away this, take away this. So it's going to be minus lambda there, minus one, blah, 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 take away zero, take away zero, that's minus one. Minus one, take away k1, that's this term here because there's a zero there. And then here it's minus one, minus k2, minus lambda here. Okay. Now we have to calculate... Um, the determinant, and it's going to be um, AD take away BC, so this times this, take away that times that, that's what we're doing. Um, we then multiply that out and collect up terms of lambda squared and lambda um, and, and the constant terms. And now this is then the characteristic equation for our, for our system we're trying to control, but we want this characteristic equation to be the same as the target one we have with, with, the, with the poles or the eigenvalues specified as we had previously. So this has got to be equivalent, um, the, the one we've just got has got to be equivalent to the one we had before, which gives the, the poles as it minus two and minus three. So it's a simple matter now just to look at this and say we can compare coefficients and tell th what things got to be. So we can see that what's the term in term, you know, what's the, the factor in terms of lambda? And we see there's a five here and there's a k2 plus 1. So k2 plus 1 has got to equal 5. So in other words, k2 is going to be 4. And the second depression expression gives us 6. It's got to be the same as 1 plus k1. Therefore, k1 equals 5. 